Hey guys, so we're going to be talking about uh, AMI management. Um, so f some of the first things that you want to think about uh, when you're going into AMI or a, a heart attack in simple terms, uh, one of the first things we want to do is identify that uh, through 12 lead. Um, if a patient's having chest pain, uh, we also treat that uh, regardless if we um, see it on the 12 lead or not. Um, if we do get a positive 12 lead with a ST elevation, we want to notify the receiving facility as soon as we do to get the cath lab ready. Um, and then some of the first things we want to do are get IV access, um, administrate aspirin at 324 milligrams, and then nitro if they... Uh, have a blood pressure of over 100 systolic, or and they also have to uh, have not taken any kind of uh, ED drugs in the last 24 hours. <clears throat> After that, uh, you can repeat that nitro dose uh, three times, uh, as long as their blood pressure stays high. And again, you want to have that IV established in case you need to give the patient fluids. Um, if their pulse ox is satting low, uh, you can give that patient oxygen. Um, we want to be careful though to not cause nitrogen washout and uh, give them a ton of oxygen. We want to keep their oxygen saturation between 94 to 99% if they're not a COPD patient. Um, if they are, it can be a little bit lower. <clears throat> but um, as far as AMI management, that's about as far as I got and uh, or about all that I have. The uh, protocol list that I have, which is just the algorithm that I, I, I didn't come up with it, but it's our protocol for uh, Oklahoma City is exactly that. Analyze 12 lead. Uh, once you do that, uh, administer your uh, aspirin, uh, then nitro if all the uh, requirements are met. And after the nitro, <clears throat> if three nitro uh, doses don't uh, fix the chest pain in adults, you can administer uh, fentanyl at 0.5 micrograms per kilogram uh, to a max of 50 micrograms for the first dose. And then you can give another dose as long as you stay below 125 total micrograms. So that's all that we got for uh, protocols for treating uh, myocardial infarction uh, at Oklahoma City. Um, so let me know what you guys think.